This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I want to cover this because people are getting confused by it. And people are being misled. This is a massive diversion. This is a massive result of the things that are happening in our world. For people investigating PCA, people waking up now and finding out about Hampstead, about McMartin, about the Franklin cover-up stuff. I've been talking about for years. Obviously, I've been on YouTube for years, but in my life, trying to wake people up, those are the things I've always expressed to them. My awakening happened when I discovered McMartin many years ago and the work of Ted Gunderson and all the hidden tunnels underneath the school and just all the testimonies that the kids had and made and then how it all got changed. It's all just unbelievable how they turned it into a quote-unquote witch hunt and said all these parents were telling their kids to do this was all about money. But people are seeing all this stuff now waking up. So Hollywood, of course, where this is a hub for pedophilia. It always has been. It always will be until people actually start waking up and start exposing it. We've seen Feldman come out, Corey Haim come out. All these people have come forward talking about child abuse, Elijah Wood, and Hollywood how it runs rampant. That's because it runs rampant in politics, the entertainment industry, Hollywood, the music industry, all of it. Around the world, elites, global elites are the ones involved in these pedo rings. They are Satanists. That's why the core of Satanism is the rape, molestation, and sacrifice dismemberment of these children. They use them for black magic rituals. They sacrifice and Satanists are different than ball worship that we read about in the Old Testament. So I want to cover this story as far as Ashton Kutcher who's probably one of the world's biggest douchebags, has come forward and passionately testified on anti-sex trafficking efforts. Now, this is all a result of the stuff that's going on because more and more people are asking people to investigate PTA, talking about this, or saying, how come nobody talks about it? You hear me say it all the time. How come it's never in the news? Nobody talks about it. They talk about all this other stuff going on. I talk about the, the sex trade of these children. And my, one of the first videos I did on this channel, I talked about how they have these fake charities set up, which talk about trafficking children, right? They don't talk about sex trafficking. They talk about how these kids are bought and sold to do child labor in other countries. It's such a scam. I even messaged them. They have me blocked. They won't even answer my questions about why they won't talk about sex trafficking because they're scams and they're frauds. All these have been set up. As far as now you have Kutcher coming forward, leading the way. Of course, it's some celebrity who's, you know, and now he's coming forward as an advocate, speaking out against, passionately speaking out against anti-sex trafficking. He's, you know, he's involved in this now. He's putting his name in there. He wants to get out there. This is all set up. This is all Russell diversion. They know they, they have to address the pedophilia stuff in Hollywood. So much stuff has come out, especially in the last six months or so. With celebrities coming forward, with Pizzagate coming out, and more and more people digging, digging, and digging. That they have to do something like this and say, oh, well, we are trying to. So they get, you know, ironically, they get Ashton Kutcher, who is the host of the show, Punter was, and who knows what else, other garbage guys. It could be less funny or entertaining, but he's one of them. He's one of them. This is a, a massive diversion. One is taking attention away from Pizzagate. Two of them going, we know sex trafficking is going on, and now they're going to start pointing finger back at people like ourselves. They're going to take attention off of the elite. They're going to go like I always say, they're in a stereotype. It's a guy in the trailer park. It's lower end guys, you know, drug addicts who are doing it, getting drug money out of buying something. They'll show pictures of people that look like quote unquote scumbags, right? People who are wearing you know dirty clothes and unshaved, unclean. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna stereotype this and take a attention away from the guys in the business suits because it's the elites. And actually, Kutcher really cared about this and wanted to do something. He knows where to start. Probably looking in the mirror. But you look around Hollywood, you look at all these people out there and start, you know, if you really care who's really doing this, but he's not. Okay, Ashton Kutcher's a Freemason. There's photos of Ashton Kutcher wearing his Freemason hat proudly. Okay, there's photos of him when he was with Demi Moore, leaving the Kabbalah Center, or Kabbalah Temple, whatever you want to call this nightmare that these people go and they worship Satan inside these Kabbalah Center. People don't understand this. Okay, anyone who follows Kabbalah is following Jewish mysticism. This is the synagogue of Satan. This is what they're doing. The Talmud, I've exposed it already. I've talked about it many times. The Talmud openly talks about the raping of children. Under three years old, the rabbis are allowed to do this. The Talmud is one of the most disgusting, disgraceful things ever written, and it should be burned. It shouldn't be allowed to be on this earth. It's the Babylonian teaching is what it is, and it's hidden in the temples. And people go, oh, the Talmud, no, it's not like the Babylonian. Yes, it is. It's exactly what it is. So Kutcher attends the Kabbalah, you know, his Kabbalah synagogue with Demi Moore. Then he's even going there getting his new child with Maya Kunis. I don't know if I can say these people's names right, but new child that they have, new baby. Demi Moore even shows up as ex for the Kabbalah blessing. And this is all sick and twisted, but this guy's in the Kabbalah. If you're in the Kabbalah, you're into all of the same stuff. This is Jewish mysticism. This is witchcraft and Satanism and occultism. Okay, that's what it is. You can see them wearing their pink bracelets. All their, their red bracelets all the time. DiCaprio, all the celebrities, Mick Jagger, Madonna. Okay, that's what this is. So we have Kutcher, who is a member of the Jewish Kabbalah. He's also a Freemason. You see where the Mason at. And now he's going to be the, the person in the forefront who's going to go out and fight against anti sex trafficking rings. It is an absolute joke. And I see people actually write and say, I don't know, you know I'm confused now. Actually, you're speaking out against it. It's a diversion. What it does is it takes attention off the elites. That's what it does. It takes attention off the Hollywood elites, takes attention off Pizza, and it's going to push attention towards Haiti. It's going to put you know, in other countries and how regular civilians or you know, middle class people are going over there and having sex with kids and doing this stuff. It's all it is is a diversion to give you disinformation on these trafficking rings. Okay? Listen to some of this stuff and think how ridiculous this is. This is the guy who testified Wednesday before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. And first of all, why would he be testifying for the Senate Foreign Relations Committee when he's on television show pumped? He's on a television show, some 70s show, and this guy is speaking before the council, you know, the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and hearing on, on progress in combating modern slavery. This guy. Think about how many people in the past have come forward and exposed this stuff and been shut out. Okay, think about Ted Gunderson, who was even killed by them, who came out and exposed all this stuff, and they shut the door in his face, and then they ran a massive, you know, discrediting uh, campaign against him, making him look like he was a traitor to America, a traitor to the government, and all this nonsense. He was crazy, and he lost his mind. And he, Ashton Kutcher's the guy they tap on the show. It's unbelievable. It's a disgrace. Gunderson be rolling over in his grave. So Kutcher spoke on behalf of Foreign Digital Defenders of Children, an organization he co-founded with then White Demi Moore in 2009 to build software to fight human trafficking. These days he called his day job as work as chairman of Thorn, and also as a father. He and wife Mila Kunis, Walton's son, Dimitri Portwood in November, and daughter Wyatt is two years old. He caught a red eye to Washington after Valentine's Day dinner with Kunis and will return home this afternoon. And in a fashion 15 minute open testimony, Kutcher praised the committee for bipartisan cooperation on the issue. Even though the guys in the room, the legend should be looking at addressing, but of course, it's a stage, so of course not. He's calling his opportunity to speak one of the greatest honors of his life. His voice was cracking. He said, as part of my anti-trafficking work, this is, this is where it gets ridiculous. I've met victims in Russia, victims in India, victims that have been trafficked from Mexico, New York, and New Jersey, and all across our country. I've been on FBI raids where I've seen things that no person should ever see. Why is this guy on FBI raids? He's an actor. He is an actor. He's on FBI raids? Was he on FBI raids inside his home? Or Demi Moore's home out in Hollywood? Yeah, I'm sure he has seen things that no person should ever see. I'll guarantee he has, but not on FBI raids. Why would he even be? This is where people should read something. Why is this douchebag on an FBI raid? Because he's in some movies and has a little, you know, is being funded by the elites and being given, being given cash? Because
This tool has enhanced 4,000 law enforcement officials in 900 agencies and reducing the investigation time by 60%. I mean, this is so bogus. And you can see this is, what's, this is unreal. Senator Bob Corker and him shaking hands. You can see that they're doing the master grip. Hands on the wrists. I mean, it's unbelievable. This stuff is so ridiculous. And they just get away with this stuff. I mean, it really is unreal. I'm sure he's saying, Ashton Kutcher, well, he's not busy you know, doing his stupid TV shows and not being funny. He's spending his time personally. He's, his website's responsible for stopping trafficking around the world, but yet ignoring things like Pizzagate McMahon and all the stuff that they've covered up. It's a gigantic joke. This is a psyop right here. Okay? But people go, Pizzagate's the psyop because they want to censor the internet. No, this is the psyop. This is what's going to keep happening. Because you know what they're going to do? They're going to stereotype people into fitting into class of pedophiles. Just like they stereotype black people, they stereotype certain white people. So people automatically think that, oh, well, they like this. Or they do. They're going to stereotype pedophiles, especially ones that are all in trafficking because the awareness has got too big. They can't control it. So now they know they have to play their mind control games on the masses. And of course, they have to usher out celebrities to do it. He's a regular guy in a suit tie. Nobody would care. But, oh, it's Ashton Kutcher. Oh, this is so good. What, what a hero he is. Oh, we should admire him. It's a joke. These guys are in on it. And they wouldn't be part of it. He's a Freemason. And he's a, he's a Kabbalah guy. And what else do you need to say? Breakfast is Jewish mysticism. Openly in their books, it talks about pedophilia. Ask him that next time he's on stage. It's a joke. It's a complete joke. So they're going to stereotype this now. And they're going to start talking more about trafficking. I've been saying this since my channel starts. So most of you have been listening. I've been saying, why not? These lectures are talking about the rings, the sex trafficking. They make more money than the drug trade. I've said it over and over. I've said it a million times this year. And now they've, their hands have been forced because people will not stop talking about PTA. People will not stop talking about these rings. A lot of people who are sound asleep about PTA, then they're like, you know, I read some of the, the message boards and I'm like, yeah, because they're talking about PTA. They're like, have you heard about like, Martin? Have you heard about Frank? Have you heard about Hansen? And then it really opens their eyes. They realize what's going on. That's how it works. So they know they have you have to go, sex trafficking is real. And I'm sure they'll create false stories in the news about, you know, things being busted in Haiti and all this stuff. But they're going to stereotype certain people as these pedos. It might even be conspiracy theorists. They'll probably make something up about us. They call us conspiracy theorists, even though we're really just speaking the truth. Who knows how they'll do it, but they're going to divert attention away from the elites, away from Satanism, away from Crowley's teachings, away from Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, away from the Talmud. Okay, that's what they're going to do with this. So don't fall for it. Because people said, I'm confused. Oh, so he's not one of them? Of course he's one of them. He's a Freemason. You can see him doing the shake. You can see him leaving the Kabbalah centers. You can see him wearing the Masonic hat. Okay? There's no reason that this guy should be speaking before Congress as somebody who is going to stop sex trafficking when he's an actor. When well, there's police, actually good, you know, there's some good law enforcement out there. There's some good people. Still, like I said, is long dead now. They wouldn't, they wouldn't let him go anywhere near this stuff when he discovered it. Anywhere near it. Because they knew he would expose the truth, which is the satanic circles. The satanic covens that were prostituting these kids in and out for black magic. And he openly said that. Kutcher's never going to mention that. What's Kutcher going to talk about? Oh, I've seen some awful videos. Yeah, I'm sure you own some. I'm sure you've been in some. I'm being bro. Why don't you go up there and bust them? Why don't you go? Your producers are TV shows. Why don't you knock on their doors? Huh? The Jewish Kabbalah buddies. Of course not. It's an absolute joke. So don't fall for this stuff. This is going to continue to happen. This massive diversion. One is attention away from PTA, but two, it takes attention away from the ones who are really guilty. And the elites know that. They know they have to take attention off the guys in the suits. And they have to go, okay, listen, people are becoming aware that you know, this child trafficking thing's going on and kids are you know, getting molested and killed. We gotta get attention off of us and put it back on them. And that's what this is. So it'll continue to go forward. It makes me so angry and sick because there's people out there who work so hard for so long trying to expose this stuff. I'm not saying from my own standpoint. I'm saying from just looking back at Gunderson, so many people. And then they have to do this. This is going to mislead so many people out there for finding the truth because this is all about Satanism. That's what it's about. These people are Satanists. They represent the synagogue of Satan. They do these sacrifices to Satan. They molest these kids for Satan. And it's a disgrace because they're going to stereotype it on you know, people living in trailer parks and lower level people who need money or scumbag drug dealers. That's what they're going to do. So don't fall for it. It's part of the deception. Give me a break. And thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.